All right, I am going to show you how to manipulate a sky in Photoshop. So basically, we're going to start out with a file that looks like this with a normal blue sky, and we're going to change it to something similar to this. So the first thing I want you to do is, if you notice on your desktop, you should have a folder that says Sky Demo. Double-click it, and then you should see a file that says sky.jpg. I want you to right-click, open with, and Photoshop CC. Give it a few seconds because we know Photoshop is slow. Now the first thing I want you to do is save this image to your folder. So you're going to go File, Save As, you're going to hit Student Files, you're going to click on double click on your name, and you can keep it as sky.jpg, that's fine. So then hit Save. Now hit OK, and then now you have your own version. The first thing we're going to do is we need to unlock this layer. So Let's unlock it. It renames it to layer zero. Let's just name it Jesus so we know which layer is which. And that now gives us the ability to manipulate this layer. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this blue sky. So there's a new tool that I want to show you. If you can't find it on your toolbar, it's called the Quick Selection Tool. If you can't find it, you might have to go down here to the dots, Edit tool Toolbar, and if you see it on this side of the list and not on this side, you want to take it and drag it and drop it in here. I already have it on this side of the list, so I'm good. Hit Done, and I should see it somewhere. Some of you, it might be up here. Others, it might be down here, and find it just like that. So once again, this is how you change the size of your brush. Right now, it's set to that. It's up to me how big I want it. I don't need it too big for this. So let's see. That's not, let's do about 119. That should be fine. So now, what you're going to basically do, make sure you're on your layer, and then you're going to click on the blue. And that, as you can see, it already outlines it. On this one, you might want to hold down the mouse and just drag it across the blue and as you can see it auto detects stuff if you make a little mistake you can always hold down option and then click again and that will delete stuff like that and backtrack okay remember command option Z goes back to so now that's pretty good I'm happy with that so let's just hit the delete button now after I do that you will see it changed it into a transparent background And if you notice too I still see these lines that's gonna mess you up a little bit because you will not be able to do anything else other than things within that line to get rid of that sometimes you just have to hit this box right here and then just click and then it goes away so the next thing we want to find a really cool sky for this background so go to Google type in I'm gonna type in stars and then images and I'm gonna just take this first one there's a whole bunch so and remember when you do this you want to do view image first then you're gonna take it and you're gonna drag it to your desktop let go and then you can close this out after you do that you're gonna take this and drag it in here once again remember this is where you can reshape stuff so if you hold down shift it'll keep the aspect ratio and you can keep it the way it is I would fill your entire image just like that if you want to zoom in and out use this magnifying glass let me place it first if you use this magnifying glass you can zoom in and out by hitting the plus to zoom in and then the minus to zoom out I would get it so you can see the whole thing now there you go so right here let's just change this to sky so we can keep our layers organized so as you can tell the sky is over the Jesus layer so what we need to do is bring Jesus above the sky so we can see Jesus so if I take that and place it above there you go now the next thing I want you to do is we're gonna change around the sky a little bit cuz I wanna make it my own so basically make sure you're on the sky of the layer and I'm gonna show you a couple cool tools in this image you can go to adjustments and there's a bunch of cool ones you can explore all these if you want but I'm gonna only show you a couple the first one I'm gonna show you is brightness and contrast this one doesn't do much but you can easily set your brightness if you wanna make it darker or lighter and then the contrast just makes it a little bit sharper. See, it brings the colors out a little bit more. So I like to do that. I'm going to up a little bit, then hit OK. Now, another really, really cool one, if you go to Image, Adjustments, go right here. OK? Hue and Saturation. This is really cool. Now, make sure this is set to Master. And basically, what you can do is just move this knob, and it'll change the colors a bit. So I'm going towards a little bit more green. See? A little more yellow, orange, red. 
go this way. So find a color you like, spend some time and look. I'm going to just do something like that. I like that. And then same thing with the saturation. This will change your blues. It will either make them more blue or less blue. See? So if you really want it to be really blue, you can go up a little bit. And the same thing, this light and dark, just play around with that. After you get it how you think it looks cool, hit OK. So that's pretty neat. So I'm going to show you another really, really cool thing that we can do to this sky. Once again, make sure you're on the sky layer. Go to Filter and go to Liquify. This thing is really cool. So basically, this new window will open. You want to hit this minus button a couple times so you can see the whole picture. Maybe plus, that's good. Make sure you clicked right here. And basically right here is some of your tools. I'm not going to explain them all, but right now make sure the size of your brush, figure out what size of a brush you want. Uh, that's pretty decent. You can come down a little bit if you want, depending on what you want to do. After you play with this, you'll see what it does. So I'm going to set the pr pressure to 50, and then I'll show you the difference. So 50, that's like halfway pressure. You see how it's doing that? And I can actually take these things and mess around with them a little bit. If I increase my pressure, it just makes it a lot more. Watch, see? It's a lot more, and the same thing if I decrease my pressure, it's just a little bit less, see? So what you can do is put it somewhere where you like it and just play around with it. Make sure you do not see, because if you start doing that, you can see you can get your background layer. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure everything's covered and play around with it. I'm just doing some clicking to see what happens. So let's just do it like that. That's pretty cool. All right, that's cool. When you're done, hit OK. Boom, pretty neat, right? And remember, you can still go back over to Image, Adjustments, and you can still change the colors if you want to play around with that some more. That's kind of cool. So let's just do something like that. That's cool. Now, the last thing I want to do, we can do some stuff to Jesus on the cross over here. So if we click on the Jesus layer, if you remember the Burn and Dodge tool, that could come handy. So I'm going to go down and find my Burn tool. And let me burn a little bit more to get some of this white out. So when you do that, make sure you have a decent sized brush. That's pretty good right up here. I'm going to change this to mild tones. Mild tones work a little bit better on statues and buildings. And your exposure should be about 60%. You can change that if you want. It's just about how much how dark it's going to do. Now, the, lo the more you brush, the darker it gets, see? So you can play around with this and get it to a place that you think looks kind of cool. That's cool. And also the face. Maybe I want to I want to do the opposite now on the face. I want to get rid of some of these shadows. Actually, let me make this I'm going to make this cross a little darker while I'm on the burn tool. Let's just burn that a little bit and let me burn some shadows into this. So if I come up here and go to shadows, I'm going to just burn a little shadow kind of makes it a little cooler. Maybe I do a little shadow like that, maybe a little shadow down there. Cool. Perfect. So now let's say we want to get lighten some stuff up. The opposite of that is the dodge. It looks like a lollipop. So once again, you have the same options here. I'm going to dodge some shadows. I have my exposure up high. That's a pretty high dodge. Let me just lower it again to about 85. You can play around with that and see what you like. And I'm going to just click it a couple times just so you can see his face a little bit better. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to stick with that. Now another thing I can do is let's say I want to make this building look a little cooler. Well, one thing I could do is I can use my little burn tool on that, get some mild tones, and make it look a little darker. See how I'm doing that? Kind of give it a cooler look. We can do that. Or let's say I want to get rid of the entire building. It's up to you. We can go to, once again, the quick selection tool, and we're going to do the same thing. Make sure we're on the right layer, the Jesus layer. And we're going to select this building. I'm holding down the button, and I just want to keep the statue out. Now, see how it messed up there? That's where I'll hit Option, and I'll just come up, and I'll click, and I'll make it back like that. Then I'm going to go over here and get all the building, just like this, and make sure I get the whole building. That looks good, right? The whole building is outlined. I don't need that. Make sure we have everything that looks good. And then once again, hit Delete, and that will eliminate that part. And once again, grab that box, go like this, and then there you go. Now, you really can do a lot of stuff. If you want to take Jesus and maybe rotate him a little bit, you can hit, make sure you're on the Jesus layer. Remember, Command T brings back this. We can rotate it a little bit if we want. We can resize it if we want, something like this. If we do that, there is one problem. This is actually kind of cool, so let me show you how to do that. And then if you hit the Move tool and then Apply, it will place it. Now, let's say we did that, and but look, the cross is cut off. Well, remember, we can use that Clone tool. So if we go over here and grab the Clone or hit S on your keyboard, make sure you're on the Jesus layer. Have a decent-sized brush, maybe a little bit bigger than that. 
And then I am going to try to clone this cross. I've never done this, but let's see. Remember, you hold down Option, and I'm going to start copying from right about here. Then I'm going to come up, and then I'm going to just start painting. Let's see if this works. This might not look perfect, but there you go. Now I just kind of made the cross bigger. And look, see the color this is a little bit different here, so let's go back and get my burn tool. And then let's just burn a little more of those mild tones just to kind of give it the same look if I can. That's too much. Command Option Z will backtrack it. Remember, that's a little too much, so I'm going to lower this a tad. And then just do a couple clicks. And that looks pretty good. And that's about it. So see what you can do. You can manipulate a lot of cool stuff using those little features. And let's see if you can make a really cool shadow. You can even, oh, let me show you this last one. You can even take Jesus and you can do something really cool. If you go to Filler, make sure you're on the Jesus layer and go to Filler Gallery. This is really cool. So if you do that, it usually zooms it all the way in, so you have to hit this minus so you can see the whole thing. This has really cool effects. There are a whole bunch of effects here, and then you can change a lot of the stuff. So let's say you want to make it look like, I don't know, poster edges. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it does something cool. And then if you just make edges thicker, let's just see. I'm not too sure. Some of them do a lot of cool stuff. Eh, it's changing a little bit, and some of them not so much. But that's pretty cool. There's also really cool ones down here, these texture ones. These are pretty cool. That's cool. And then this one's kind of neat. It's kind of weird, but neat. So let's just choose one and see what happens. You don't have to do this, but if you're interested in trying to make it look a little bit different, let's make the cell sizes bigger, maybe. There you go. That's kind of cool. Just hit OK, and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, there you go. Now remember, if you don't like it, just hit Command, Option, Z, and you can go back. The last thing I want you to do is make sure you save this file. So I want you to save it as a number two. So you have two versions, the original and this one. So basically you have to do file, save as. Because I want to make sure you get a PSD file. That allows you to keep all your layers and everything. So just call it sky 2 dot psd make sure you're in your folder again if you don't know how to do it student files find your folder and double click and you should already have the sky one in there and then now you'll have this one sky two hit save and then you are done boom make sure it was done and then you can command q and you're good goodbye